In today's gospel, John the Baptist is pointing out Jesus. He has baptized many people who have come from town, from countryside, from city, from village to receive his baptism. But there's one who Jesus, who is Jesus, who stops John in his tracks. Because when Jesus was baptized, the Holy Spirit descended upon him. This was the one whose John was preparing for to present to the people of God. He is the anointed, the Messiah, which means anointed. Not anointed simply with oil, but anointed with the Holy Spirit. He is the Spirit-filled Messiah, the Spirit-filled anointed one. And wherever Jesus goes, he is the Spirit-filled Savior. Unlike anyone before or anyone after, Jesus has been filled with the Holy Spirit to accomplish the mission that he has been given, to communicate God's love to all people and to call all people into this fellowship and relationship with God the Father. Jesus indeed will anoint those who come after him and come to him with the gifts of the Holy Spirit. You know who they are? It's you. It's me. By virtue of our baptism. By virtue of our confirmation. By virtue of our participating in the mysteries of the church. We too are the spirit-filled people of God. As Jesus was given a mission, so we, to proclaim God's love to the world, to live in that loving relationship that the Father has offered us through his Son. Jesus, John points out, is the Spirit-filled Savior. And indeed, if he were here today, he would point us out as the Spirit-filled people of God. May we live up to our mission. May we embrace all the Spirit's gifts. May we put them to good use, proclaiming God's love for all people, excluding no one, recognizing that it is our mission to love, to forgive, and to serve.